In terms of species survival, Homo erectus is a huge success story. For this reason, this video is solely dedicated to this species. Besides a successful survival, Homo erectus is also a species of firsts. It was the first of our relatives to have human-like body proportions with shorter arms and longer legs relative to its torso. It was also the first known hominin to migrate out of Africa and possibly the first to cook food. Eugene Dubois, a Dutch surgeon, found the first Homo erectus individual named Trinil II in Indonesia in 1891. In 1894, Dubois named the species Pithecanthropus erectus or erect ape man. At that time, Pithecanthropus erectus, which was later changed to Homo erectus, was the most primitive and smallest brain of all known early human species and no early human fossils had even been discovered in Africa yet. Homo erectus was also the most geographically widespread species apart from Homo sapiens. They appeared in Africa about 2 million years ago and lived throughout the Pleistocene period from about 1.9 million years to most recently 143,000 years ago. Studies proved that Homo erectus originated in Africa and spread through India, China, Georgia and Java. Early African Homo erectus fossils are the oldest known early humans to have possessed modern human-like body proportions with really elongated legs and shorter arms compared to the size of the torso. These features are considered adaptations to a live lift on the ground, indicating the loss of earlier tree climbing adaptations with the ability to walk and possibly run long distances. Early fossil discoveries from Java in the beginning of the 1890s and China's Peking Man discovered in the 1920s comprise the classic examples of this species. The most complete fossil individual of this species is known as the Takana Boy, a well-preserved skeleton though minus almost all the hand and foot bones dated around 1.5 million years old and was discovered in 1984 in the Takana region of Kenya. Sangiran on the island of Java is the most important Homo erectus site in Indonesia. The remains of over 80 individuals have been found at a number of localities. The region was first occupied about 1.6 million years ago. Debate abounds as to whether the Asian fossils and those from Africa should be classified together as Homo erectus or if the African examples are different enough to be called Homo ergaster. Even if the populations in Indonesia and China were the same species, the idea is now being proposed that the populations were not connected and that the Chinese population arrived later than the Indonesian and came from a different source. This discussion will no doubt continue to rage for some time yet, perhaps we just do not have all the pieces of the puzzle that are needed to disentangle this mess. The verdict that seems to prevail is that the characteristics of the fossil present enough evidence to overturn the single species hypothesis, so Homo erectus in the broad sense prevails. However, some say that just because erectus may have been this varied does not mean it should become a waste bin species with any and all fossils that do not seem to fit anywhere else simply being assigned to Homo erectus. Individuals of this species had a cranial capacity greater than that of Homo habilis which would be approximately 1000 cubic centimeters and they stood about 5 feet 10 inches or 155 centimeters tall and were extraordinarily slender with long arms and legs. The species also had a large face compared to modern humans. They had heavy brow ridges and a low cranial vault, so a more sloping head without a proper forehead. And their teeth were already a lot smaller and slenderer than those of earlier humans. 
So like Neanderthals, their skull was long and low rather than rounded like our own and their lower jaw lacked a chin. The tall bodies and large brains of Homo erectus individuals required a lot of energy on a regular basis to function. Analyses on the dental microwear and stable isotope chemistry of Homo erectus fossils suggest the ancient man ate a fairly flexible and diverse diet, which likely included a lot of animal protein, according to a 2011 review of hominin diets published in the journal Science. Eating meat and other types of protein that could be quickly digested made it possible to absorb nutrients with a shorter digestive tract, making more energy available faster. They lived in a mix of environments consisting of a variety of forest types, freshwater lakes and rivers, brackish marshes and grasslands. The earliest evidence of hearths or campfires also occurred during the time range of Homo erectus. While we have evidence of hearths being used for cooking food, they are likely to have been places for social interaction and also use warmth and to keep away large predators. What's more is that in 2014, researchers discovered 540,000 year old shell carvings which were the oldest engravings ever found belonging to Homo erectus as well as shells that were apparently used as tools. Soon after, we see evidence in the archaeological record for the first major innovation in stone tool technology by about 1.76 million years ago. The tools were known as the Acheulean stone tool industry and consisted of the creation of large cutting tools like hand axes and cleavers. This increased reliance on a broader set of tools may have helped Homo erectus survive during changing climates. Researchers say that Homo erectus's ability to make complex tools was possible because of the strength and dexterity in its hands, which it owes to a certain hand boned projection called a styloid process that was previously thought to only exist in Neanderthals and modern humans. All in all, it is clear that Homo erectus provides a bunch of interesting developments as well as insights into the human lineage, and they may well have been the earliest species within this lineage to show so many human-like characteristics. Though Homo erectus did finally fade away, it will always retain a prominent place on the family tree of human ancestors. And with that, we have come to the end of our discussion about Homo erectus. Hope the video was of some help. Thanks for watching and do tell us what you thought of this video in the comment section down below. For related videos, check our channel out and please do not forget to support us by liking our videos and subscribing to the channel. Till then, this is Halabella and see you soon in our next video.